I'm going to show you how you can take some leftover trash, make your own fire starters that will work better than just about any one you can buy. All starts with what I have inside this can. Now it's not coffee, it's actually leftover dryer lint. By itself, dryer lint is highly flammable. That's exactly why you have to clean your dryer vent on a regular basis. When we try to light it up, it burns instantly. And you would think by itself you could just toss it in the fire, but as you can see, the problem is it burns out in just a few seconds. What we want to do is take the flammability of our dryer lint, turn it into something that can burn a lot longer and help us get our fire started. Think about your candles in your house. By themselves, they just have a wick but when you surround them with wax, they're able to burn for hours on end. We're gonna use that idea, but we're gonna do it in a much easier way. To actually form your fire starters, you're gonna to wanna to use some egg cartons. Don't use the ones that are foam, you've gotta use the cardboard versions. These 18 egg ones are perfect because you can make a ton of them at once. You're just gonna take a small amount of dryer lint and put it into each one of the egg carton holes. You can also use sawdust or any type of ground up wood product. These are just leftover bits of candle wax that I had lying around. You can use old birthday candles. It can be colored, it can even be scented, but the best choice is just gonna be plain white wax. If you have them broken up like this, it'll make it a little bit easier, but that's not necessary. You can go ahead and just melt a full candle if you want. You're gonna need a pot. This is one I actually got at a dollar store. It's actually a really nice pot. It's got this, a pouring lip. This is gonna come in super handy. If your pot doesn't have one of these lips, it's easy. Just grab a pair of pliers or wire cutters, squeeze it tight while you're bending, and you'll form one of those on your own. You're obviously gonna to wanna to use a pan that you kinda of dedicate just for doing garage stuff like this. Now we'll just turn our hot plate on. You can melt candle wax in a microwave. It's a little bit of a controversial topic because the fear of it igniting, it's gonna take a while to get the pot hot, but we can go ahead and add our wax at any point. And when it's done, I'm actually gonna just leave the wax in this pot permanently. Every time you need more, just heat it back up and you can pour out what you need. Melting wax is really easy to do. And fortunately, it doesn't cool off too quick. So you got plenty of time to work. If you're in a surface that you're afraid could get damaged, obviously put something down. This top is actually aluminum. And we're gonna pour a little bit into each container. You don't have to be too exact. You just wanna make sure that you're getting enough wax in each one to kind of soak it in. Now that they've cooled, all we've got to do is cut them up. Now you can just tear the cartons up, but it really makes a mess. I find it's just easier to use a pair of scissors. These things are ridiculously large. I'm gonna keep them as singles, but you could cut them in doubles as well if you find you were usually using two, and that just takes you less time to make them. And you can tear them as well. The edges may break up a little bit, but if that's easier and you don't wanna use scissors, that works fine too. And now at this point, We've got our collection of these little, pretty hard fire starters ready to go. So now let's test them out. At five minutes, our fire starter just burned out. Now let's see one of these start a real fire. And our little starter is doing great. I would call that a success. I think this fire is doing great. That was an easy way to start it.